Right at the beginning, in 2005-2006, we were working on the script at that time, as I said, and there were lots of rather similar cases happening in China at the time. One case, for example, somebody had been gone, disappeared for many, many years, believed dead, and suddenly he reappeared again. And uh, he then uh, was a tyrant, uh, tyrannizing his family, their lives, and influencing them. Not probably influenced our work, too. But as I said, there are many cases like this. And the case you talked about probably had nothing to do with it. The role of Ji Chen. This is basically the character describing a young woman, any ordinary woman who happens to work in the laundry. But at the same time, she's got this big secret she carries with her but hides. There are probably many people like her in our lives. We all have to hide certain things, but we keep having to go on. It's more about the question as to how we're dealing with all these things that we're hiding. When I accepted this role, I read the script, first of all, and I happened to injure myself during the shooting of this film, actually not this film, but another film, and it was a, a time I wasn't feeling all that well when I read the script, and as a result of this, I felt pretty close to the the individual portrayed there. Oh, in order to prepare for this role, he sort of drank every day, and then he put on something like 20 kilos to grow all nice and fat, but I think he's, he's normal again. Yeah, he lost weight, hasn't he? Well, actually, I was quite glad to be able to play a sort of real bad guy criminal, because before that, I always used to play the honest open, upstanding uh, guy, and, you know, in the long run, it gets rather boring, so it's much more interesting to play bad guy for a change. Uh, and, um, uh, well, I mean, <coughs> we all have our reasons why, why somebody well, becomes, you know, a criminal, well, I find that interesting. Uh, Film films don't sell, somebody told me once, it was the same, I was told that uh, when I did Night Train. Uh, and um, at the time, I didn't really understand why uh, you need warmth. Because they were talking about feelings, about emotions, then maybe if the people involved have very cold feelings in the film, you can have a, a warmer setting. But in this case, there is a, a very sort of cold feeling that I wanted to generate.